Hello, Lewis. All right. You want to hear some good news? What? Arsenal lost to Everton. I so, yeah. I don't watch football. Did you hear a ban? Arsenal lost to Everton, of all people. I don't care about British football, so Neither yeah. do I. I don't give a flying fuck. <laughs> like how I'm a South African, yet I give a shit about your country's football. That is a very good point. How do you know what we're up to? Exactly. Because my dad has an obsession with Tottenham, and Tottenham is the direct opponent of Arsenal, and we hate them with all of our guts. Are you sure you're not just secretly British? Because, like, like I was I colonized by British. Whacked. I am as pale as anything. We do not mention the paleness among gamers, or the rest of the world might work out we're vampires and gamers I, are the only way we can pass ourselves. I off go as outside, Bane. I go outside and I'm still pale. When was the last time you touched some grass? <laughs> Yesterday this at work. morning at like 6 a.m. <laughs> This morning at 6 a.m. I'm not even joking you. This morning at about six. It's a fucking the exact time and everything. Today at 6 a.m. Today at 6:23 a.m. I, I went woke outside, up outside, went for a run, and touched grass. What you guys think of pepperoni? What about it? Does it belong on a football? A football. Yes. Lewis, you police fire or medic? I'm on fire, so if you want, you can go what medic. What you guys doing? Uh, it flashing it was a trash tree? emergency service game. There's actually now a half decent emergency services game. It's, I'm, I'm assuming it's Steam, considering I can see you guys play it on Steam. Yes. Is Indeed. it free? Nope. Money. Mon mon How much money? I need an appropriate hat. There we go. It was fifteen pounds when it first came out. No, expensive. Yep, but worth it. If it's more than free, this guy can't afford it. That's kinda how it works. Well yeah, that's exactly how it works. I say boohoo. Uh what do you guys think of the new uh Harry Potter game? Hogwarts Legacy. Don't give a fuck. They're making it's another game? Yeah, I just don't give a fuck. Kinda cringe, gotta lie. Yep. The only one that I know of that they have there's my little fire truck. Lewis, where are you I at? just executed a guy in the um, all time. Yeah, I thought you were going to go ambulance. Oh, okay. I can go medic if you want, but I want to see what the new fire stuff is. No, I can me you go fire if you want. Just thought you might want to do fire. Okay, this is mine. What's like the vehicle modification terminal for the firefighters? It's inside the fire station. What are you guys doing? Playing a game. Enjoying ourselves. Okay. Good for you. I'm yep. proud of you. You're finally getting Where is that again? Oh, here it is. Alright, so we've got a catch it's not breathing, no pulse, and I've got another person trapped in the vehicle which I've freed, but I need to do medical checks on them. But they're breathing, so I'm just leaving them to it. I'm air striking a helicopter. Cool. Import vehicle configuration. One of them's cracked. Get down, reload. <laughs> oh, everyone's good at that. Give me one country that isn't good at that. God, that siren. Yeah, I know. It's nice, don't you think? No, I, I would change it. It sounds like a fucking knockoff piece of shit from fucking China. Yeah, I don't mind me, Lewis, just coming through to block off. What are we even blocking off here? Oh, you can't see it because you joined in the game. It's a RTC, but it's alright, just... Okay, I'll just go park over here and try not to glitch out then. Yep. Let's 
Because I already accept this for you come in, so... Okay, I haven't heard that one before. What? I've heard what one before? Because I hear you run into loads of European people on American servers. But, like, I haven't heard it that way around. I've got no idea if you're talking to me, Thomas, or talking to Blastmouse. I don't even know who I'm talking to at this point. I need the Leo. I'll be back. Cool. Alright, what do we have? No pending jobs, sad. Yeah, you just missed the structure fire. Wait, we do have fire? Yeah, you just missed one. Bruh. What has been here this entire time? Yes! I'm so confused what's going on right now. How do you mean? No, is he giving him the silent treatment? Did he get annoying again? Well, he's not playing this game and he's talking random crap, so yeah, I just muted him. Ah. The what? I'm fire truck game. I am in the middle of fire truck game, so I may end up muting you too. Do I have like fuel pumps at fire stations to like top off the vehicles? We do, yeah, but in this game for some reason they don't. It's a weird one. Is this one of the skin vibrating sirens? No, it's a really crappy version of it that they've added to this game. I like this thing down here, that part of it. Yeah, but the ones they added to this game are fucking shit. The, the best game I've seen so far um, that I've got it implemented in was Emergency NYC. They really fucking did it properly. 
they got a proper rumble siren and everything working, but this game, they've just fucked it. But luckily, they got the European sirens down, so that's a win. Right, since you're an air ladder uh, fire truck, I'm just going to spawn in my. Uh, I'm just going to spawn in a, a normal pump truck, right? No, I was going to come and ride with you. Alright. We'll go in the pump truck then for a bit, right? Does that have, like, all the stuff we need? Like, what if we need a ladder? Yeah, you just get a ladder off it. I like one of these guys. I think they like, the, just pump ones. No, it's a pump truck, you know, it's a... Basically, it's just a truck that carries a water tank and gear and shit. That's why it's got a pump truck. The one you've got is a ladder truck, because it's mostly just a giant, you know, ladder with a fucking pump on it. And rescue equipment. Both engines carry the same amount of rescue equipment, same as, like, the UK. Um... Air ladder platforms and normal fire engines, we they all carry the same gear. It's just they just use your different implements. I keep getting that clicking like kicks you out the vehicle. Yeah, it does do that. Well, there you go, got a structure fire there actually. There you go. Right, shall we roll in the structure fire? Well, let's go then. Go on. I thought you were going to jump in the engine. Yeah, but I gotta close the door behind you. Fair enough. Right, let's roll structure fire. We've got. So, if you want, you can give me navigation if you want. One second, let me just accept the same mission. Oh, it's not showing up for me. Hang on a minute. I'm gonna go change this fire truck sirens because this game can suck my dick. Yeah. I'm not driving around in what is essentially a fire truck with what we appears to be a Chinese knockoff siren that they've just shat onto it. There, there, Lewis. I'm sorry, there, there. I have I've got more grace than that. I'd rather spend the real money and buy a Scottish made fucking siren or UK built siren pack for my fire engine. Not something that sounds like a fucking toddler getting squished by a semi truck. You Scottish really have a way with words. Oh yeah, no, we we get very, very, very antsy at certain shit. Okay, cool, that's better. Right, so now we will roll in a structure fire properly. Lights on, siren, fucking much better. Yes, much. Still haven't got the cool log. Sad. Press, um, press your HUD menu and you can join in the call. Between HUD menu. Left shift number, so you need to open the call up. Yeah, I know, when I click on CAD, there's like no active calls. No, go into active. Yeah, nothing. Oh, right. Whatever, we're still, you probably still see it in the something. I can't see the building burning down. Something weird going on with my head. Oh, no, not one of these guys. Fuck off game lag. Get fuck game lag. I'm gonna actually fucking suck off. Oh boy, this is trippy. No shit. See, if it only happens like, I swear to god, it must be like when I enter an area for the first time after making a server and the game just has the worst fucking scene in its life. But like I was able to adapt there and do my proper driving, I just thought I was driving out of fire for real. Even though the game was stopping from moving, I was able to still avoid a collision. Fuck you, game. I'm not fucking so. Unlike real life, I think I, I may have broken my cool exception thing. I haven't had one for me since I joined the server. See if you look to your left. Is there a thing that says F3 and has like a minus on it? Uh, no. So if you press F3, that closes calls so you don't get any calls to bug you. And I'll just turn it off and back on again then. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna actually pull up right and do the proper, like, Scottish fire truck siren when you arrive on the scene, right? It's a the Scottish one. Yeah, wait for it right here. So we pull up the scene, this is the siren you hear, right? We pull the scene, ready?
Right. Ah, so which building you say is burning down? This house here. Which one? This one here. Ah. That's how you do a ventral entry. Yeah, that looks fine to me. How on fire is it on your screen? Well, it's internally engulfed in smoke, so it's an eternal fire. So my first thing to do right now is going to do search and rescue and get the occupants out of the house. Then we're in the house. Then we'll deal with the fire layer. So we've got two. We've got one victim here. I'm going to grab him, bring him outside. I don't see what's going on upstairs. As I Have see you got no freezing smoke. apparatus on, by the way. Yeah, there's no smoke though. Still, but your guy might die from the thing. The game will still kill you even if you don't see the smoke. That's the experiment I'm doing. Should I disconnect or reconnect, like, when you finish this job? No, no, you shouldn't be able to, like, once it's full, it's pretty good. Okay, second floor of the structure is clear, here. no one up here. That's just outside, so yeah, I think that's the one. Structure is clear, there's no other occupancy inside. I'm just gonna do a double check around in any other rooms. I'm do the doors I'll start doing like medical stuff, make myself useful. Yep. Right, so the fire is on the second floor, so I'm gonna start tackling the fire now that there's nobody in the house. Um, I'm just gonna hook up a water supply line to the engine. So the nearest hydrant, I passed one here when we came in. Oh, I can't do medical stuff, I've just got to request transport on them. Yeah, pretty much. Like, if they give us the medical bag in the fire truck, we can't we do, like, medical stuff? I mean, you can, to an extent. But, you can do yeah, much, but yeah. no options, even with the medical bag. That's why, but that's why they had to see if you go medic, by the way, you can click on to join the fire service. So you can actually be a fire medic. Oh, nice. So, basically, you can just do that, and then just jump in the engine feed and be a medic then, on scene if you wanted. Oh, wait. So then, medic bags brought from that do work? Yeah, so what you would you would just take a medic bag out of the fire and you can just use it, do I mean. And it would work. Okay, that's a nice one. Yeah. I don't know where any of the fires are, so I'll just spray everything. It's mostly just in the second floor up here. And one just drops on the ground. Oh, is that what it is to drop my other stuff on the ground? What? <laughs> Fire is trying to climb up the stairs. Just to, you know. How do I coil this hose back up? Yeah, yeah, it is, but this game doesn't seem to give you that realistic message. So I'm just going to put a fan here to blow smoke out of the house. I'm going to use a ladder for no real reason except ladder. <laughs> and I'm going to take this yeah, guy's boy. windows out because this game won't let you open windows, but. Technically, we would just smash the windows out. Like, we'd open the windows up in the house, but in this game, you just have to smash them out just to clear the smoke out of the house. That is a fun. Uh, no, but you know, ironically, right? Do you know what we actually try to do, though? We will try and shut all the doors, right, in the house. But the doors we'll leave open is into the bathrooms, and do you want to know why? 
Why? Because the bathroom is the one sort of part of the house that you can let smoke pass through and out of a window to clear out of the house. Because the only damage it really does is it sticks to the tiles that you can just wipe off. Yet, yeah, wallpaper and shit sticks and you can't do it, you have to remove the entire wallpaper and stuff. And because bathroom, naturally what you can do is you can just turn the shower on while the door's left open so it actually puts like a miniature mist effect in the house so it will stop like sort of stick and chocolate. Yeah, oh, do you know what else we can use in this thing by the way? Oh. The larger fires. This. Ooh, what is this? It's fancy. Ready? Oh, that oh boy. So if we get any larger structure fires, like right now, just use this. Pop up for me, so I think I should disconnect and reconnect or something. Just wait, why are we kind of there? Okay, now I'm I'm responding to two different calls now at the same time. Does it have nothing on either the pending or active? Yeah, something's going weird here. We start the server? <laughs> yeah, why not? Fuck it. <laughs> Before I do, let's do a wicked fire trick drift. You hear me, boy? Alright, you know what? Let's, let's, um, try, just before we start, sir, try, um... Changing professions and changing professions, yeah, do that. My brain didn't want to fucking be English there. I'm just gonna... Where the fuck is this happening? This fire, by the way. Oh, it's in town. Nice, okay. Barrier! Yes, my fire truck! Oh, I would have cleared that one. A lot because I'm not sure this is gonna work to fix your fucking bug. I'm just fucking around like until I need to use it, so. So, what's our, uh. Our goal here is the server need reset, or if you manage to fix it. It does indeed appear that we need a server reset. Yay! You know, I'm gonna blame it on that guy that joined, because sometimes if players join with shitty AP, it fucks the game up. It is an actual bug that they still haven't fixed, and it really pisses me off. Punk, right, reset server. Dun, dun 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 Flashing lights! It's a fun game, but it's also broken. So, take that advice. Can you wisely. name one game we play that isn't fundamentally broken? Uh, let's think. Uh, do, 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 do. no, 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 no. Yes, I have one. Which one? You'll never know. By the way, I found a good game that's kind of knockoff Space Engineers, but it does Space Engineers better than Space Engineers. Uh, what is this game? Uh, let me find it. Or do you just have Space Engineers? I do have Space Engineers. Yeah, maybe we could do that sometime. We could. Right, let's try again, shall we? Let's just... Scotland it is. It Which up. one is it? There you go. Amount of traffic. All. Peds. Interstellar all, Rift. All, Heard of that? All. No. It's quite nice. It's got like freeform building. What are... Play online. Europe. Fine game. Luis. Waiting for the game to fucking load once again. 
fucking server reset. That's right, I just punched the server in the face so it works. Meanwhile, in the loading screen. Alright, so you could do that, Thomas, if you wanted. You could you could switch to medic if you want and also be like in the fire service. That means you could just drive around an ambulance or some shit. Or if you want to drive I want to see what the new fire ambulance. stuff is first, then we'll start dividing. Yeah. No, but it's just it's the things. Do you want to do... Um, are we starting in the city fire station or do you want to do it in Cod Town fire station or in Beach Town fire station? Let's stay city. Okay. Like, no chance of like built up structural fires and stuff. It doesn't really matter what station you start, you'll probably get calls all over the place. True. Just more of a convenience thing. Like, I think they've nerfed it so if you start in, like, Beach Town or something, you get more calls like, car fires and shit like that, and, you know, rural crap, like, forest fires and stuff, but in the city, it's more like structure fires, RTCs, general shit. Alright, game, let's play my favourite game. It's called Have You Fucked Up My Sirens Again? Well, you've already started my fire truck with its lights on inside the apparatus floor, so... That's a good sign to me that something's gone wrong. Also, yeah, that's fine to me. Let's see. Vehicle fire, skip. I want fancier stuff. Let's put on my sirens. Are they fucked? Our survey says. Good lag spike, by the way. Well done to you. Hey. Mine's fine. Yours aren't, though. Yep, I know mine aren't. What should it be? <laughs> uh, whale, Yelp, and uh, Piercer. Right. I wouldn't really park your fire truck because it's going to spawn there anyway when you fix the sirens. Better just running and fixing it. I know, but I'm just parking here because I don't really like driving this thing. Can I get the lights for you? The smaller one you've got. I will send you that sometime. Structural fire. Ooh. Yes, I'll do that. Yes, same. I will send you the lights for the... I need to actually save. I've, I've got like all the vehicles like marked up and I need to save a lot more of them. Suburbs East. Lewis, never buy a house in Suburbs East. Why? Everything goes wrong there. Does it? Yeah, like everything that ever goes wrong in this game always happens there. It's a good thing that I live in Ayrshire and it's North Ayrshire then. God, I love it when the game first loads in. Just the lag spikes are intense. Like, it's so intense, you just lose all steering and driving. It's like ETS and ATS. It's great. So there's three fires here, and then two more fires over there. What's that doing? Just other calls are coming in. What do you do if you're on your way to one fire and there's just another fire right next to you? In this game, it doesn't spawn in unless you accept it. So in real life, it would, what we could do then is um, we would still roll by, like heading to the first call we've gone to, but we could raid you in to the location of where we're sitting fire. So let's say like we're going for a residential neighborhood, right? And we're passing through to go for like a house, like another house fire spot. And we see like fire and smoke coming out of the house. If it's serious enough that we pass and we see the flames like shooting out the fucking window, we would probably slam the brakes on, raid you in that need we need another station to respond to what we're going to. But again, it depends on the seriousness. So if we've had reports that there's a fire in a house and there's possibly like, people trapped, we will fucking keep going because there's people that are in danger and we need to get them. But we will raid you in if we see like, you know, the house fire and we can see people already out. We will raid you in that there's a house fire at this location. And then they dispatch you to tell us they've already got engines responding to it, or you know if they're or haven't had any you know idea what's going on yet. If they um, tell us happy for responding to it, then we will keep going. But if we get told that the fire we're going to has already got an engine, you know either nearby or has already responded to it, and there'll be a first crew on scene, then we'll stop the move and to pass. You know what I mean? But in some cases. Um, we can get lucky enough that we are responding and let's say that I said someone's already on scene, it could be the police or something we've already got there first. They tell us like the fire is maybe in a back bedroom of a house and everyone's out, but they managed to search and find everyone's at the house. So then we'll assume that that house now is just a risk of fire and there's no risk of life. So we will stop to look for the one that's, you know, could have a risk of life because we've just seen it. Yeah, now I see the fire. 
Right, I'm just gonna pop the engine in the middle of the screen again and block it off. There's a Hydrant there. I'm gonna set up a Hydrant stuff you wanna start doing like search and rescue. We'll get like set up with the different upgraders, pack hose. See, the one thing in this game where it really fucking annoys me um, is that you need to connect the host to the hydrant first before you connect the engine. When in real life, we connect to the fucking engine first, then to the hydrant. That way, it pressurizes it better. So, if you connect up the, the engine first, Thomas, in front of the hydrant, you can actually connect up the hydrant first. Oh, really? Yeah. Right, so. Hoseline under pressurized. Put that rack on. Rescue equipment right now. If you get the door open, I'll get the other hose set up. Okay, I'm in. Um, first casualty is on the floor. I'm just going to grab him. Oh, that's a funky ass top, my man. Holy shit. Right, I'm just going to leave you on the ground here. No, no, don't put the fire out first. Don't shoot the fire first. If there's still people trapped in the building, you can actually just really kill them with the steam that comes off it. Search the house first. Oh, uh, yeah. Right, I've just not searched that back, back toilet there. Check the toilet there. I've not searched that room yet. House clear, yeah. One more. There you go. One more. Now we start hosing. Now we start hosing. Put, press H to put your hose in a, in a shock pattern though, because the fire is basically just spreading to so one of the But it also protects you because if there's hot ash and shit coming down, you want to fucking. Ah, Lewis, help. I'm on fire. That's why you should stand back and try and get back and get back. Right, we are both very much on fire. Alright, the fire gears here protects you. Oh, so we can just try to be on fire. Yeah, to an extent. The problem is, this game has a very, um, how do we say, buggy fire effects when it comes to some fires, so the game will just bug out and put you on fire for no reason, but it will kill you. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm getting right now. Yeah, it's mostly just annoying. So I'm trying to shoot you with the hose, but it's, you know, just switch to full ball, yeah, this ain't doing anything. <laughs> no, but see, it's like, fires like this with the counters, right? You better go into a spray pattern because that gets more of the fire. Alright, so now that the fire's, the fire has been in the roof, you can see it was in the roof, so we get, I'm gonna go check and show the fire spread upstairs for the back of the roof. We are still very yeah, much in the fire. Don't worry about it. The game will find us to get on yourself, or if not, we give them a Get the plan on the set up. Yeah. How do I use this thing? Here, I'm just going to grab one for all the Is that reaching? Could be a violation of fire code, but I'm getting out of that. No, it's no violation. Okay, I'm laddering. Ladder time. Can I climb this with hose? Yeah. Yeah, that's the only thing I should be able to do. But uh, stay on the stay on the uh more on the outskirts of the roof. Yeah, the edge where the wheel is. So that's it, I just shoot it from a distance. I'll use a monitor and just get you from above. And I got more fire around the back. Yeah. Hey buddy, how you feeling? I'm feeling 
high on prescription medication. Yeah, looks like a good food. Uh, Lewis, what about that three pieces? Are they already printed? Look at the other guy's medicine. Yeah, they're fine. Dude, that's kind of a funny thing that's been there. Yeah, that's correct. They're meant to like fucking blow up and smoke out the gold, but it just doesn't really work all the fucking time. Oh, really good, you know? Oh, so, oh, this is a mutual at the time you got here. You actually really need to know because it's I would look so good if I had like a half decent like system. Motor vehicle collision when I go for that. Alright, I think we just grabbed the last stuff. Yeah, Okay, I can't. I can't even get it. You have to get back to get to get Done, well, in real life you have to stop because people like to run out in front of fire trucks. In this game, if they do it, I just run them over because they fucking deserve to die if they can't do this coming towards them. Put me out in front of fire. Swole ground, what do we have coming towards them? Like the fucking line down. Ah, yes, of course. Well, I have no mercy for them. Like, if you're this fucking retarded to run in front of a fire truck while it's responding to an emergency, you deserve to die. That is my one opinion. There are exceptions in real life, you slam on the brakes. But in this game, oh hell no. I have no sympathy. Death will come to you. And you will end up in the hospital waking up wondering why you're completely fucked. Simple. About maybe 10 tons of fire truck? Yeah, I'm gonna give a single out a way of 10 tons. Right. Wait, like, when did you actually use a siren? Which win? Like, you just leave it on all the time with your APM and just when you need it. Well, right now we're going through junctions and stuff, so I leave it on to people who hear us. There's a lot of, like, movement about vehicles. On the motorway, when there's, like, no one around, you can turn it off. So, like, right here is a junction coming up, the car's going to be, like, coming on, so you leave the siren on for the jungle. It's like a maneuvering sort of thing. This is my... Why are these, like, barriers just there? In, coming into cities and stuff, or coming up to like junctions or pedestrian crossways and stuff, or like Ben, you leave the siren off, people have a chance to hear you coming, if they can see you. The rule of thumb is if the light's green, you just blow through it. If it's going amber or it's red, you slow down and pull through the junction, you know that people are going to be maneuvering, because they have the right way. I think that medic's probably going to be helping us out on this one. Oops. Oh, Nikon 17, they just disappeared. What do you think that was? Uh, this is engine 86, request medical support for an RTC, please. So first thing to do is set up a cordon around the scene. Should I get straight in with the jaws or? No, first thing to do is set up a cordon around the scene. Create a safe scene to work in first. Yeah. Uh -huh. Then you start jawing. Then you start jawing, yeah. Yeah.
but I just found it fun glitching in these boy. Oh really? What? Grab some road flares and put them down, and you get 600 points for free. Huh. Well, that's nice. Actually, incentivized. Alright, possible neck injury over here. Yeah, I've got to do with this guy, he's not breathing, looks like he's unconscious. So I'm guessing it's our job to collar and then let anyone else do it? Yeah, pretty much. We're just we're just gonna try and create the casualties to stabilize till an ambulance gets on the scene. Then they'll do transport and other medical problems. Mostly we're trained first aid up to uh, the point of like cardiac arrest, CPRs and stuff like that. But when it comes down to like um, drugs and stuff, you would wait for paramedics to run the scene or hard teams. Um, in other cases, we can have sometimes like joint efforts where uh, thingy, uh, which got like heart teams or something, might join up and join in one shift, do stuff. Nice light bus out, man. Pretty cool. We got two here. Which one? Heard you? This couch is the most serious because he's not breathing, so Paramount can deal with him first. The one that's in the vehicle is breathing stable, so he will get taken last. So you're a on the ground, he's got uh, definitely not breathing, uh, probably might be shot. Um, heart rate is extensive, gonna need IV and a definite fucking trip to the hospital. Guy in the van, um, he's breathing, conscious, but um, not responsive, so probably got head injury. System and just leave like a hose pressurized just in case any of the vehicles do catch fire, you are ready. Oh, yeah, nice touch. And Can you try and get the other guy out of the vehicle? Because I can't interact with him. No, no, that's a medic's problem. So once medics want to move somebody, we let we wait for them to give us a call and we'll take them out of the vehicle. It's better keeping them in the vehicle so they don't, you know, do anything that could hurt themselves. See, one thing I'm upset with this game is they can't, you can't create what we call like a dump pile. So we would create like a dump pile, we'd put like a sheet down and put like tools and stuff on the sheet. And basically just means that after the incident we know all the, the tools are there. This game doesn't let you do that, which is very upsetting to me. All I can do is basically take a medic bag and dump it on the ground with a hose reel. And I don't know if I can do it with the jaws, I think the jaws should disappear if I use them. Can I use this? Oh, I, like, I can pick up your hose, but I can't pick up your medic bag. That feels like an oversight. I know. What else can I put down? How about an axe? Can I put an axe on the floor? No, it just goes away. It's bullshit. How about... How many of these do I have? I don't know what size we used here, right? Cones or we used here. Yeah, I can just take the ladder lying around. <laughs> nah, you put that away. We don't need that. That's just a trip and hazard. Yeah, we're just gonna wait and see and block the road off until you come back to take the other couch away. Lewis, I've had a bad idea. Alright, so that guy's fine, he's alright. Hey, look what the hose is doing here, like, what? By the time, so whenever you speak on this game, I can't hear you, by the way. Lewis, for the record, this is what you sound like every time you talk in game. Well, that's a game problem then. Nah, it's more like you just got your Discord on open, and then every time you push to talk in game, it's just everything. Pardon, what was that? Yep. That's because my Discord is Sorry, open. I like say? to use Discord more than the game sound effects because the game's voice is fucked. Hop. Like, well, hello, person. I'm just gonna run on your van and make sure you're okay. You don't, don't worry about it. Though. Yep, your van's still structurally integral. The safety cage has done its job, protected you well. No, this guy getting ejected from his fucking van didn't seem to go well. 
Also, see from a crash scene investigation purpose, right? See the way these vehicles crumple to us? Do you know what? I can tell how this incident's happened. This fan here has been coming from this direction over here. Like so, he's been coming from here and he's hit that van and it's back in a spot. So this guy must have been turning right and the two of them just connected perfectly. Get out! You can walk, but give you a shit. No, I want to climb up the light pole. You put this ladder up wrong. How should I have done it? Like, so you can go double the light pole. I want to go double the light pole. Oh, shit! <laughs> Let's go, buddy! I'll put you on my shoulder and throw you up. Let's go! What? What? Almost. Uh, yeah. uh, oh shit, I uh, jumped it. No, yeah, it's not like you're responsible professionals. No, no, no. Once this is like fucking 25% of what the price of the really like. See, so when you're on scene, you're waiting for like medical shit or something, where like you've done your job and you're just waiting around, you just start fucking about whatever month you do it. You can start fucking around. Like, not all. Bad fucking around, but it is just fucking around, like just having a laugh, making jokes about stuff like that. And there's always some news story about the fire service having to find some cat with the look of a well or up a chimney or something. No, the news went across the funny a cow somehow had escaped from the farm and it had made its way into the river um, about 100 miles away. So we can only assume the cow has somehow entered the river somewhere upstream and then just swam all the way down. Taking them all the way there. This is how we get in these days. Yeah, just climb over and jump over. Yeah, so I can pull the other side. There we there go. go. Like a boss. Yep. Yeah. And we're out. It's not how blurry it is, it's like the fucking engine that was great on the other side. This is so blurry. Uh, it's not for me. I'm gonna let your motion blur bugging out. I basically just drive around as fucking drunk, it's great. Unless I'm in third person, but I always use third person and everything's fucking. Uh, open sesame gates. That's what I do. I don't remember those fire rates being there. Have they always been there? No, they just added them in. So they put them there to test them out, see if they're working, it's great. Alright, back to base. Lights on. Guess I'll get the door then. Yep. And part. What I might do is I might um, copy this light pattern for you, right, and send you it, and then I might switch to an ambulance. I expected fire to have improved. Ooh, structural fire. Come on, structural fire. Okay. Let's see where it is. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if you can give me proper coordinates here. I'm not even gonna ask I'm not gonna accept the jobs on there. So you need to direct me so you can do this. Where are we going? Uh if I could see it on my map I would tell you. Press F2 then. No, as in, like, it's not on the map. Oh, neither is mine. Oh, well, then that call didn't work. Well, did I even accept that? Probably not. <laughs> Active, pending. Yeah, like, it just immediately disappeared. Okay, yep, working as intended. Oh, here's one. Oh, there we go. Let's try this one then. Ah, you f I need to rebind my exit vehicle button. Those medics can I think many might be going to the fire station to change the fire fire ambulance probably. Oh 
Oh, just one active fire. Does the fire spread? It does, yes. Ooh. So the longer it takes us to get there, the faster the fire spreads. So we get more and more fires. So there is like a risk. There's like a gain plus risk system you'd start doing. So like red lights here, we just start blowing through them. Oh boy, that's jumped up quick from one to six. Yeah. Alright, you want directions? No, no, I've got it. It's in the east housing state though, isn't it? Lewis, you have no idea how happy I am that there isn't a siren block in Stormwork. Why? Like, ugh, like, repeating noises in video games get very grating on me very quickly. That's a you problem, isn't it? It is a me problem, but I will continue to make it a you problem. Up to ten fires. Oh boy. So, do you want to go straight in and start clearing, and I'll set up the hoses? Do you want? Oh, there's like two fires right next to each other here. Just accept that normal. We'll just come back to it later. Because the weird thing is, unlike in emergency NYC or other games, people can't actually die in this game. So you could just start that other house fire there, and let it spread like fuck, and then we just take the people out later. Ooh, hold it together, game. So we need to plug this into the hydrant first and the engine second. Yes. That's the weird way they've made this. Where is the nearest hydrant? One up the street to our right. Look to, look to your, uh, right up the street up there, to your right. Okay, I've got one casualty here in the kitchen. Bring them out. So, just gonna call in an ambulance up here. On the supply hose. Uh, no one in the bathroom. Okay, the house is now clear. There's no one else in the in the house in the property. So, I'm just gonna put the turret on just to blast the roof, just to keep it cool, so it doesn't actually set fire. See again in real life as well you wouldn't you wouldn't fucking do this because if you put the turret on the roof it might actually blow water through the roof which would collapse on whoever's inside so Ah oh, excellent. Only ever do that if we're doing like an external fire extinguish if the fire is not too dangerous to do it from inside. But this game doesn't give a fuck about that, so we'll just put it on just to stop the fire going to the roof. There we go, I think that, that's looking all quite professional. Yep. See, another thing as well, unlike real life, this game you don't have to fucking worry about things like backdrafts or fucking blowouts. So, it's not too bad. Nice chill firefighting game. With your friends! Not me. I think, it's just a, I think it's just a roof fire now. I think the fire is just outside now, mostly. I already prepared roof access. Yeah, it's on the back. It's spread to the back. This <laughs> is a shoulder climb. So, you'd want to walk along these bits right on the side of the roof here, the roof beam, because it's like the strongest part. That's it. Just try, I try not to slide down the roof, that's my problem as well. Yeah, I really like I'm just sliding away over here. Yep. <laughs> just, how do you get to the ladder when you're really bored? Dun, 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 dun. It's like, oh shit, it's escalator, isn't it? <laughs> so, how's your I day going? I used to fall over the edge. No, no, I can't. <laughs> I might. <laughs> ah, it's <stole> the whole ladder. <laughs> it's a fucking game sometimes, dude. Uh, down you go. Come on, go down. Good boy. So 
See, what I love is the fact that in Emergency NYC, you have to, like, get on top of the engine to use the turret, and it's fucking hilarious, because your guy just starts having the worst fucking problems of, like, game physics ever. I'm gonna go around the corner and do the other one. Like, imagine what this household must think in it. They've called for a fire engine because they're fucking fire so far, and you just see an engine just reversing up the street. So, yeah, don't worry, we'll get there. Oh, there's that house there on our right. Look, it's another wee bungalow fire. Dude, these houses catch fire quick, don't they? If we don't do a supply hose, how long does the water last in an engine? Uh, this thing's a thousand litre tank, so I would give you, if we were using our two branch lines, probably about 20 minutes. If we're using the turret, I, it'd be gone within fucking 10 minutes. Oh, hey, it does unlock. That makes a nice change. Yes. Okay, she's actually in the fire. I'm going to grab her immediately. See, now this is one thing I don't like, though, is the fact that if there's real, you bring her out, get sorted out for ambulance and stuff and then she'd be treated for like third degree burns and shit for the way she's her legs are actually in the fire and this nah just phone an ambulance to leave her she's fine all right that's yours hang on i'll set my hose reel up steal my hose would you you wouldn't yes, download a hose <laughs> so all firefighters do they just fight over the hose i want to be the one who goes in i want to be the one <laughs> just punch and fuck up each other did you take my hose? No, did you just take my fucking hose? I swear. <laughs> no, the one, the one biggest problem is, it's hats. And I'm not kidding you. See when the bells drop, right? And everyone runs to the fucking engine. See if you don't properly put your shit where it should be. People will lift your fucking helmet and then you lift theirs. And then the amount of bitching you hear from someone saying, that's my fucking helmet. That's like, it's like, would you just fucking put it back where you got it? That's why you see, like, the, the, there's more, like, discriminated, like, so you need to keep your stuff, like, professional in case of, like, march outs and stuff, you know what I mean? But most of us will just stick stuff inside the helmet just so we know who's is who's, like, stickers or some shit or, you know, stuff where, like, the public won't see unless you're not wearing it, but at the same time it just allows you to know who's is who's. But most of the time, the people I work with are not like me. I've got like a, f I would say a fat head, but my head is a certain size, and people, everyone else around me has got a certain size heads. So you know immediately if you got the wrong helmet because you put it on and it's like fuck. <laughs> just you spin your heads left and right, and the thing just rattles like fuck. Like if you put a bike helmet on the wrong way. Just gonna put that way. Oh, they won't let me do the... Oh, that's unfair. They've, they've made it so I have to put the hose actually away after taking it off. That's kind of annoyingly hilarious. I'll give them that one. Fair enough. Up we go. Come on, turret. Yeah, yeah. pass the ladder. Yep. I might actually, like, get the air ladder flat power... Like, no, my brain is not doing English now. I might get the air ladder part from out. Um... While you're, if you're taking the engine out. Here, yeah, your hose is up on the roof. And dunk, because there's just down. Just off, yep. Yep. This one guy is just standing here like, aren't those the same guys just who saved me from my house fire a few days ago? And I'm like, yes. Wait, I need to test something, actually. I forgot to test something dead quick. What are we testing? Um, just want to test something. <laughs> I, I, I'm just curious if they've removed it from the game or if it's still in here. No, it's I'm on fire again. It's okay, this guy's gonna be in half again. Oh god, yeah, it does work. What does? <laughs> you can just start going like murdering people with a fucking fire axe uh, and a fucking like chainsaw. I thought they only added it for like Halloween, but no, you can still do it. It's fucking hilarious. One second, I need to put myself out. <laughs> that's, just, that's just a fucking... Yeah. Here, I'll put you out. Hang on. Oh, 
This guy just walking past like, yep. Yeah. Totally normal thing. Actually, that's as normal as you would think it is. We actually do wash each other off now and again with a hose when you come out of fires, just for cancer prevention and stuff like that. Especially if you've had, like, if you've been into a chemical incident, which, like, is now, like, 10% of what we respond to. Yeah, thanks, Hen. Just, no, that's not, no, I'm taking that shit. Come here. Come here, bitch. Ooh, tree blocking road. That means it gets chainsaw or something. Now, don't you fucking walk away, motherfucker. You wanna hit my fucking fire truck? I'll fucking hit you. That's what I thought. Alright, cool. I think we killed enough civilians in this one area. Let's let's head back to the base. Just jump in the fire truck. Doesn't matter if you're on fire. This game doesn't give a flying fuck. It's just entertainment. Um, just very much on fire. Just hops in the back seat. Still very much on fire. They're like, it is a fire truck after all. <laughs> Well, I need to get a screenshot. I'll hold it there. <laughs> Wait, get out. Jump in the other seat. Jump in the other seat. Go in the other side, dude, quick. Go in the other side. Hurry up before you, before you go out. Jump in the other seat. That's it. That's it. That's it. Just <laughs> jump in. No, no, the other seat in the back. Get in the fucking back. What do you mean the other seat in the back? In the back. back. Jump in the other fucking seat in the back. On the right side. Like this one? No, the right side. That's the left. I'm trying. Oh my god. Try harder! This one? The right fucking seat! This there one? There we go! <laughs> just, it's just the fucking... It's the ball of flames. If I stop the engine, right, then quick. It's the ball of... It's just your guy engulfed in flames in the back. Yeah, just... On fire in a fire truck, just kind of just sitting there, like, yep. Yep. So, we are continuing to do what we continue to do best be on fire in a fire truck. I mean, yeah, why wouldn't you be? I love just the trail of fire as well. It's like I've got NOS now for like Fast and Furious. Watch like, if I just get up to speed. <laughs> I will show you what is going on. It's like that fucking video of just the fucking the fire truck just in flames driving down the fucking like the road just towards the farm. Yeah, see how I'm on fire in a fire truck? Yeah, logic, right? Well, I'll tell you what we could do if you want. We could do police. I don't know if you've done police in the game since like the old days, but now you can actually search vehicles and shit and like do other things. Ooh, police brutality, anyone? Oh, yeah, no, you can do a lot of that now. Yeah, look at the fire truck. Go through in America. 360 drift. What kind of fire trucks do you have? Like European ones, American ones, Asian ones? What do you mean? Thomas. Why are you not talking to me? What do you mean? Uh, didn't you mute him again? What is going on? Lewis is having a brain thunk. Oh, I'm wondering what the fuck is going on. You're talking about fucking something, and I'm like, what are you on about? You're just saying nothing, and you're silent. Right, are, actually gonna, are we going to join police? Yeah, or are we still on fire? Pardon, Lewis, what was that? Are we joining the police or are we staying fire? Where are you going, Lewis? The fire will claim you, Lewis. <laughs> this is the Burning Man. <laughs> What's it called? Oh, uh, like Ghost Rider or something? It's just Ghost Firefighter. <laughs> much, much more cooler than fucking Nicolas Cage's shitty attempt at being night at being fucking Ghost Rider. The most unthreatening like fucking Ghost Rider there was. Uh, unknown. I want a change of work. I don't like this. <laughs> I'm not a fan of being in flames, so I'm going to do a change of work.
I love how like, both PDs, though, in fucking Coat and Beach are the exact same building. They've just given up the design. They at least changed up with the fire stations, at least in the hospitals. Well, kind of. Right, hat. My guy is wearing his casual fucking trooper hat. Why not? The COVID is over. This is meant to be escapism. That was sarcasm. COVID is still a very much a present threat, but this is meant to be escapism. Yes, but you I enjoy me? the fact that when COVID for the game designers decided, let's just give them masks for a hell of it. And my God, I appreciate that so much. It was so funny. Oh, my old SUV. I haven't had you out in ages. Yeah, but the problem is with masks, like, they were always a really overly contentious issue, but the bigger problem now what, is that whenever anyone wears a mask, they get crossed between, between people who wear masks because they are sick and are trying to contain themselves, and people, people who are not sick and are wearing them for the sake of it. Yep. Ooh, drunk driver, let's get dead. Yeah. I have a special hatred for those fucking idiots. Wobble, 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 wobble. Jam vehicle in front. Ooh, like... I don't remember this. Was this here? What? Speed radar, look at that. That's... was there, but they've nerfed it. Right. Is he gonna come this way? Or is he driving down that road? I'm just blocking the road here because I'm just curious if he's gonna come up this way. No, all right, get in the car. He's he's definitely going. He's he's definitely. We've just passed. Which way is he going? Moves. I got my spikes. He's past us. Get in. Get in. He's not moving though. Get in. All right, let's go, boys. Excuse me, good sir. Right, I'm just gonna try and give me a second. I'm gonna try and thing him. Uh, I think you need like a traffic vest to stop. Ah, uh, there you go. Ah, uh, what's he doing? He's trying to get away, but because I'm blocking his path, he doesn't know what to do. Just get spikes right up, put out his wheels. I'm just gonna block him in. All right, move out of the way so he like drives over it and then that's just the end of it. Okay, I don't know what's, okay, is it working? Okay, good. I pressed forward and the car went into reverse. That's a good problem there, having flashing lights. Well, I'm mate, gonna push you over the spike strip at this point because like, yeah, look, this is how we do it. Oh, help, is he actually, Dislodging himself? Oh god, I Alright, come on, move. Move. There we go, now we got him. What's weird is whenever I play with mute, this just gets really fucking mental. Like, the guy will take off when we get into a full fucking pursuit and shit. Right, I'm just gonna move into the car, into the squad car a second. Um, and handle him. Just keep like search the vehicle or something. Yeah, we're gonna search the vehicle. So what we'll do is we'll just, I'm just gonna block off the lane a second while the vehicle's parked here, just while we search it. Just try and get traffic to move around us. Hot brand chips. Hmm. I'll have those. I'll be Doritos then. Why would they be Cheetos? No, I said Doritos. Alright, what's he carrying in the back? Apart from the world's most amount of Amazon boxes. A television, nail clippers, uh, and a paintball gun. Okay, so... Is it just me or are the cones presents? Yeah, there's some that appear as presents. So you get nine, you get like 900 points for them or 600 points for them. Yeah, that was nice. So I said, put some, like 600 points. Yeah, put some road flares down you get 600 points as well. Alright, car parts. It's fine. 
One thing as well, right, you can search a vehicle for it as a weapon. So if you find a weapon, you can search the person, and if they've got a weapons permit, they can have it. If they don't, they can get arrested for it. Oh, nice. So that's one thing to keep an eye out for is just searching. Sometimes you find stuff like rifles and stuff. If there's no ammunition with it, legally, they're fine if they have a weapons permit, but again, if they don't, then that's, that's a no-no. There's nothing illegal about having ammunition but no rifle. That's the one thing. So I'm just going to frisk his ass, see what he's got on him. An ID card, good. A quick alcohol test. Look, he muted him or not? Yes. Ah, oh. and I'm guessing if they have both, it's illegal. What? If they have munitions and a rifle. Yeah, it's illegal if you don't have a weapons permit. But can you have a permit to have both weapon and munitions on you? If you have a weapons permit, you can have ammunition and stuff, yeah. Aha, uh -huh. we can search a different place. Yep. Paintball gun, television, and nail clippers. Yeah, I've already searched the boot and stuff. He's, the, the vehicle's clean. The vehicle's clean. I'm just gonna look up his ID and shit. Yeah, boy. Alright, let's see. Do -do 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 -do. Let's run an alcohol test. Oh, I've done that. He's yep. at 1.7. He's illegal. He's also not on any drugs, so that's fine. Alright, so he's not wanted. He's got no weapons permit, so he shouldn't have a gun on him, which he doesn't have. It's fine. He's been arrested before. His driver's license is valid. Not for much longer, fuckface. That's going, because you've been drink driving. And, yep, so everything else is fine about him. So, we'll just nick him for fucking drink driving and shit. And just being a cunt and the, what did you say, Blaz? What's up? No, what exactly is your job? Like, fire service stuff? Uh, 50 50 in. Where's the weapon wheel again? Lost it. Press 1 and cycle through 2, 3, and 4. So, 4 is like 3 is your taser, 4 is your. Oh, there pistol. you go. Yeah, but like, do we really need this? What, a taser? This is sufficient. Yeah. So there's a handgun, when someone shoots back at you, you just take them out. Uh, how do you call transport on this vehicle? Request uh, tow, this one? Yeah, request tow, yeah. You can also be a tow truck as a police and tow truck cars yourself. Oh, nice. So we'll just request police pickup for him as well, just to save time. So, prisoner transport's just coming now, PT, and then we'll just... wait for that to get him. Yeah, well, the thing with police is you've got to transport people back to the station most of the time. Medical, you've also got to do it most of the time. But fire, you can just keep doing one call after another. You haven't got to keep coming back to base. Yeah, well, there is a as a limit, though. You can, you can only be around, I think it's like four calls a time before you have to come back for legal reasons, for like, you know, shift changes or fucking rest. They don't want what they don't want is firefighters arriving on the scene after being at four different calls, if you know what I mean, and then like suddenly one of them just drops some exhaustion. Yeah, that's not ideal. No, it's a major health and safety risk. Why the fuck is this police fan just fucking what the fuck? Suspicious activity, anyone? What the fuck? <laughs> Have some problems, pal. Do you want me to flip you over? Nudge. Right, I'm just gonna shove him down the street a bit. Let's just spin him around. And we'll just push him towards. The, oh, well, I actually want to see if this guy picks him up upside down. Nudge, yeah, hilarious. Nudge. 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 Let's go, nudge, buddy. No, don't flip nudge. over. Stay up on your roof. Stay on your roof. Ah, the boy. No, no! Stay on your roof. Stay on your roof. You're staying on your fucking roof. That's how this goes now. You're just gonna arrive on your side. Deal with it. Coming through, please. What man. exactly is illegal about bullying a physics engine? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. It's just entertainment. Right, you should be close enough to get him now. Apparently not. Pardon, get the fuck out of the way. Please find out to get through. Oh, he's off. He's on foot. Shoplifting? Nah, I need something a bit more dramatic. If you do, like, if there's a prisoner transport thing, like, going to court, we could do that one, because there's always a risk of, like, just shots being fired and just, like, take a guy out in a gunfight. Yeah, 
What was that, Blaz? So that vehicle's fine. Pardon, Blaz? That vehicle's fine. Vehicle's to be fine. thrown out of a window. In other words, yeet. Insurance expired. Yep, we'll have that guy. Do you want to pull over that van? It's looking kind of sus. Yeah, his insurance has expired. I'm just pulling him over. Oh, how's it? I'm robbery in progress. I think we should go and do that. Yeah, we'll do that. I'm just going to quickly just give this guy a fucking quick ticket and we'll, we'll go ahead. You, here's your violations. So, violations, your insurance is expired. Here's that. Your name is that. Da 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 da. Yep, done. 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 Have a good day, sir. Just get that shit sorted. What's your roll for? You can get back in the car. There you go. So where the fuck is this armed robbery? Uh, just behind us by the looks of it. I accepted it, but it didn't fucking go for some reason. I'll give you directions. Take a left, then. No, I've got it. I've got it now. <laughs> See, the best way is probably just fucking go down this way. Yeah, go down that way and cut up the street and just fucking surprise their ass. And surprise, motherfuckers! Uh, Lewis, what? What? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh, Lewis! Lewis! Next time, can you not put me in between yourself <laughs> and the armed attackers? What? You're my you're my fucking meat shield, so I can take them down. If they shoot an officer, I can shoot them legally. Maybe you could just shoot them illegally. I mean, that's what everyone else does around here. <laughs> no, but I've got to be professional, don't I? That's how this works. I've got to I've got to try to be kind of professional. So me and you play together properly, not fucking result to like me and what mute do just halfway through the game we decide you know what let's just get two tow, tow trucks and make a fucking tornado and just kill everybody with it i mean it's up to you if you'd like i could show you that glitch it's a very fun glitch i'm very familiar with the truck nado i believe that's literally how we met yes um it might have been that i pushed you through a wall but it was missing fine. person so uh lewis an ambo gang has spawned that's good to see what where am I on your screen? You're in my car, why? Okay, good. You're not out of my car. There we go. Fixed it. Cool. Why are there so many? Oh, did you call in them yeah. too? Also, look, Christmas tree. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. It's way off season, but it's still entertainment. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I want a present! <laughs> Ooh, transport subject. Yeah, that's a good one. That's usually like firefight can break out. Do you want to get the like transport van? Could do. Do you have a Lewis approved transport van? Might do. The SUV works pretty well as well, but yeah, we got a transport van out. Just gonna park up. And I'll get it. Hang on. Dun 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 I mean the game really doesn't give a flying fuck. We could just take them to court in a fucking tow truck if we want to. It just makes no fucking sense, but you know what I mean. Yeah, let's do that. Take them to court in a coach tow truck. The only problem is though it's a two seater, so one of us have to walk. Uh I can deal with that. <laughs> now we'll take the van. If the Aww. game will load. Come on, game, for fuck's sake. Ah, oh, Lewis, your game ho player host left. What? Lewis. What? What? 
he left the game. Yay! That means the game died. Oh, fucking yippity roo. Oh, yeah, I think actually the game has completely fucking soft lock. The game is still very much alive, though. Yeah, you're now running the server. Ah, nice. Oh, yeah, no, the game has actually fucking died. Alright, cool. It's, uh, yeah. I'm sorry, game. Were we being too realistic for you? Was that the problem? Did you not like the fact that we were being too realistic? Ish. Flash and light has stopped responding. Uh, no, it hasn't. All right, that's it. All right, let's see. I don't know about you, Thomas, but I think this might be time to... Uh... What exactly is that, though? What? Well, the game died. I give up. Fuck this shit.